I didn't even know if I was on his radar at all, but you know, through the channels I reached out and it turns out, you know, he was, you know, very respectful of my work with Lamb and that kind of thing. And obviously everyone in the world knows how great Chester is. He loved the song and we kind of went back and forth about doing it and then we got in the same room and did it. But the, the great part of the experience, a lot of it was great, but one of the great parts of the experience is that the template, the outline I had for the song when I presented it to Chester is different than what it became because we really sat together over a table and just really hashed stuff out and kind of tore it apart and built it back up together. And that was, to me, one of the more memorable parts of that experience, I'd say. We very quickly got into kind of a creative mode um, and very quickly we're just two guys working on a song that we both really dug. Um, so that felt very natural. Um, in terms of what he was excited about, I think he just genuinely really liked the song. I think that's why he was there, is because he really liked that song. And I happen to know he was very, very excited about the idea of screaming and, and doing something heavier than what he's been doing lately. You know, that, that meant a lot to him, and he was very vocal about being excited about that. Chester's ability was undeniable. Like, just in sitting in the control room and watching him do takes, it's just, it seemed, I'm not gonna say it was effortless, because I'm sure it's not. But it seemed that way, and you could just ask him to do something, change a little pitch thing or something like that, and he'd just drill it every time. It was, it was pretty, pretty remarkable to watch. The lyrics to Cross Off are um, very personal to me. Um, I didn't write all of them. As I said, when I brought it in, I had a, an outline for the song, and then uh, Chester and I kind of went through it. Um, it's, it's sort of about codependency. Um, it's about, you know, parts of it reference directly a, a kind of a relationship ending in my life. Um, but parts of it are just kind of about self-destruction and sort of codependency and um, just the ways we beat ourselves up. And kind of regret, I guess, is a theme in there too. When I found out Chester had passed, I was playing a show in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it was, I think, in the afternoon when I found out. Um, I got a text. And I was devastated, like everyone else in the world. The thing that I kind of took away from him personally was just he was just a really genuine, like honest, fun guy, like really passionate about music, really devoted father and husband, and um, a good listener too. He had a lot of questions for me about the lyrics and about where it was coming from, and that kind of spurred conversations that we had, you know, about just real life stuff. He was just a, just a good dude. I was happy to get to know him a little bit. Yes. Oh, it's blowing madness. Love is right.